It's a social media post by a teacher at a Brampton Elementary School that the board is calling anti-black racism. In the photo, you see the back of a young student's head and their braids. Next to it is an image of a character played by actor Marlon Wayans with a similar hairstyle, holding a gun in a 90s comedy flick. Below is the caption, who rocked it better? Laugh out loud. I'm Adrian Gobriel. We're outside of the Peel District School Board where senior staff are investigating the claims tonight. Now, we've decided not to broadcast the name of the Brampton Elementary School in an effort to protect the student. The board says they became aware of the social media post after some concerned parents discovered it on the teacher's Instagram story. And I think we'd, you'd be hard pressed to look at that particular image and to, and to say that it's not um, an, a, a post that would be considered racism. I think if you look at it, um, you look at the use of black stereotypes and you look at how the child is being compared to another individual um, in not a very nice way, I think you'd be hard pressed to say that it, it isn't anti black racism, um, even though that's what we're hearing from some of the members of the community who say, you know, it's just a joke, it's not really racist. Hey, what's up? We got a problem too, big? The image beside the young student is of Lock Dog, a character played by Marlon Wayans in the 1996 movie Don't Be a Menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. The board says they became aware of the social media post on Saturday. We do consider it an anti-black racism post and certainly that's concerning for us, um, so distressing to a certain degree and we began, we began as a result of that uh, an, an investigation almost immediately. The educator under investigation is an occasional teacher, according to the board. City News has learned that she would often supply as a kindergarten teacher at the Brampton Elementary School where the photo of the student was taken. The teacher has been assigned to home. That means she can't pick up shifts with the board or communicate with students or staff. I don't think so. It's the right way to do it for, from a teacher. Yeah. You know, what? That's what I can say because I'm a settlement counselor. So I work with my clients and I don't see this appropriate. That's sad. That's, that's not nice. It's kind of bullying. <laughs> what do we teach our children? Not to bully and don't say bad things if you have nothing nice to say. That's sad. I feel sorry for that kid. We do have professional and ethical standards for our teachers and policies and procedures that should protect against these types of things. In this case, um, that, that's failed a bit. In part, the Peel District School Board social media guidelines for staff reads, the Supreme Court of Canada has ruled that teachers' off-duty conduct, even when not directly related to students, is relevant to their suitability to teach. As such, staff should use sound judgment and due care when using social media while on and off-duty. This isn't necessarily about social media. It's about doing the right thing by, our, by the students that we serve and the families that we sererve. And, and in this particular case, whether it was done face to face or on social media, it's just not appropriate. That said, social media training is offered to staff here in Peel, though it's not mandatory. The board says they have reached out to the students' guardians. Now, when it comes to discipline, the board also says the teacher could be facing anything from a verbal reprimand, perhaps some sensitivity training, and possible termination.